So a really cool thing just happened. And just so you know, my car drives itself. We're okay, we're not gonna crash here. Um, but I'm still gonna keep my eyes on the road. But a really cool thing just happened that I think is really gonna, I hope it gives you the same shift that it gave me. And that is that I just spent the day um, at a compound here in Austin, Texas, actually outside of Austin. And this compound is still in development, but it's basically headed up by uh, a semi-famous person who just moved to Austin and is building an intentional community here just outside the town on 75-ish acres. And the reason why that's interesting and exciting to me is because I set a bit of an impossible dream uh, uh, about a year and a half ago that I wanted to build and live on a community that I built specifically for entrepreneurs where we would get amazing people living in the same place where everything would be provided so we could just create cool things. And uh, we'd have like workshops there and bring in groups and some people would live there and some people wouldn't live there, but we'd create companies and we would uh, you know, attract really amazing people from all over the world and we'd set a precedent for what was possible when you built one of these communities because I think it's only inevitable that we move to more of a micro tribe type of a setup. And I think it's only a matter of time that people start living in communities that are, you know, people who are vegan all live in this community and people who are internet entrepreneurs all live in this community. And you can move from community to community based on what your interests are. And some people live places permanently. I think it's, it's, like, it's like the next wave of society. It's only a matter of time because we're all wired to live in community. Now, the reason I tell you all this is because when I set this in my mind, I was like, that's impossible. There's no way that could ever happen. But what happens is the more you talk about what you're up to, the more that you start to build things, someone knows someone who knows someone and you put it out on the internet or you start talking about it and things just start to open. I, you know, I, I we filmed this. I don't know if the video has been released yet, but I was chatting with one of my team members, Tyler, who has kind of an impossible dream. And he's like, you know, the weird thing is as soon as you start putting it out there, things just start to open up. And, and that's because everything is relationships. Everything is who you know. It's everything. Like the most impactful thing you can do is meet the right people. And so when you put something out there, you just open up doors to meet the right people. It's why I'm so public about what I'm doing. Like I don't, I don't put this stuff out on the internet because I need to sell anything. It's because of who I will meet when I talk about my dreams, when I talk about the things that I'm building. It's that, that is, that's my incentive for sharing everything because, because one door opens up the next door that opens up the next thing. And so I have uh, a team member who knew somebody who knew somebody and got me an invite to this like cookout at this little piece of land that is being built. And uh, I, you know, I asked the person who's leading it, how do you plan to fund this? And he said, I have no idea. I just know I'm going to do it. And I was like, well, I'm pretty good at the funding side of things. I'm not so good at the building side of things. And he's like, we should talk about this. And it's just, it, you know, it's just a conversation, but if it goes nowhere, I'll learn something from him. He'll meet somebody along the way. We both have similar dreams. We'll probably stay in touch as a result. And it's just a, a huge step forward, even if it was just my brain realizing, hey, this is not impossible. This is possible. And so whatever you think is impossible, someone's done it. Someone is doing it. Someone's up to it. Someone knows someone who's up to it. And the more you put it out there confidently, even if it's not a real thing to you yet. If you just put it out there as something that you know is going to materialize or at least get closer to that. Like I have no idea how I'm going to buy the, like I actually know a kind of an idea of how the path is going to be for me to own the Cleveland Indians, but I don't know when or how or what's going to open up. I just know I'm going to move towards it. And if I don't get there, I'm going to get really freaking close. So whatever it is that you think is impossible, someone's done it. And if someone's done it, there ain't nothing that is holding you back from doing it, probably except for the opportunities in front of you that come from the people that you know. 
and we live in a world where you can get access to anyone at any time. Put it out there. Put it out there confidently. Even if it's going to take 30 years, it becomes more and more possible the more people that you meet. So it was a really cool moment for me. It has nothing to do with business, except it made me continue to think bigger because as soon as I saw this carrot, I was like, it made me want to work so much harder and I knew exactly how I would fund it. And I was like, oh, it's, it just gave me the energy to do the things that I know I want to do. And when you have a powerful reason why, a powerful motivating thing that's guiding you somewhere, the things that it's going to take to get there don't feel like work anymore. They feel like necessary steps along the way. So if you're struggling to take action in a business because you've got this idea and you just haven't been able to, you probably don't have a compelling enough reason what's pulling you through it because it takes freaking work to do anything. And if there's not some sort of vision that is bigger than your past, what's going to motivate you to do all that work? And it's not enough to be moving away from something. There needs to be something that you're moving towards as well. So for me, I've got all the things that I'm moving away from. Now I've got a compelling vision moving forward, but seeing it today just made me go, I want this. And it makes me want to work all that much harder. And I know what to do. And now I just see everything that I was like resisting as clear steps forward, as easy. And it's so much fun when you think about big stuff what you thought was big in the past doesn't seem big anymore. That's why when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, the first thing I do is say, what's your goal? And they tell me, and I was like, all right, what's that times 10? And what would have to be normal for you in order for you to make the 10 times goal happen? And it's just a thought exercise because when you return to the original goal, all of a sudden it seems easy and simple. What's your goal? Times it by 10. What would have to be normal to you? in order for that to exist. And then the original goal ain't so hard. You probably think it too small. I'm probably thinking too small. Probably everybody watching this video is thinking too small. There's no need. There's no such thing as big. No such thing as small. There's just how big you're thinking and who you know and the opportunities that open up. I'm rooting for you. I'm in your corner. Let me know what your dream is. What's your impossible dream? Put it in the comments, let me know. Let me know how I can support you on your impossible dream.